got a little call Saturday about two o'clock and the time flew by today it's got done diagnosing of one compressor on a walk-in but the parts house is closed and I guess they're gonna wait it's a three-ton scroll I'll try and get a video for you guys and I'm gonna replace, it's got that Copeland digital controller, low pressure switch and all that, and it's gone goofy too. So I'm gonna get rid of all that stuff and probably just put a dual pressure control in it and then a mechanical fan cycle switch. That's my plan anyways. Without being another video, this one here, I gave the lady my price and she hemmed and hawed and then she called me back. And then she goes, hey, the last guy that was out here did a gas and go on it. And uh, so I told her I'd come by. So let's go see what we get into. It's all the weather got rainy today. Look at that busy, busy Saturday afternoon. Look at that for a rainy one. Four oh seven C action. Let's get the leak detector, give a sniff. See if we can see anything obvious. Uh, all right, look at this peach. This looks like two old abandoned condensing units. The conduit comes from in the building, comes down, hits this flex right here. Flex is over. <laughs> comes down, goes under the unit, comes up here, and then we got to see what's inside this control panel. There's also an abandoned dual pressure control, but the high side's still hooked up. There's no wires going to it. It's just epic. Epic Sideshow Bob special. Using the defrost timer to turn turn the unit off. It's not a disconnect because there's still electricity to it. I want to see if the bellows on this is a leaker. I've seen that happen before. I'll well, sniff the outside part first.
way in the back there. Let's see. Let's get some soapy bubbles. All right, so I brought the uh, field piece in, the SRL8. And I'm just so used to heated diode style uh, leak detectors. You know, I love the H10. We know the H10 will sniff this thing out like a heartbeat. But I just like the way this picks it up better. one you have to check before you put the soap bubbles on because this will pick up soap bubbles. detect again and, and see if it'll pick it up. I like the way the SRLA was picking that leak up. Um, I'm going to go grab the detect again and see how it does. I'm testing that thing out. Now we know where the leak's at. So I let the bubble sit on there for a bit. Yeah, that's a small leak. I'm going to try that leak detector again. I want to see how it picks it up. Um, like I said, I'm testing that thing out and I know where my repair is going to be now. So, all right. So I got it in, in the highest detection mode. Let's give this thing a try again. I know it's infrared. I'm trying to get used to it. And I was looking all down here. I remember. So bitch. I had it hovering over that leak. It might be that this thing's just really slow reacting. Try it in the next mode.
back to the highest setting. Let's see what we get. It, it picks it up, but I think it's just slow responding, not what I'm used to. Like, I know all that's a leak right there. Get nada. Let's pull it away. Bring it back. Let's try to get the camera right in there. That's right on the lead. I gotta flow this whole joint all the way around. That's what we're gonna do. I think they tried to weld it with 15% instead of uh, silver solder. That's where they got into trouble. There looks like there's enough solder on there. I might be able to heat it and sweat it around. I got it cleaned up pretty good. The back side is shit. The whole back side of that weld is garbage. Let's see if we can get it. I gotta go pump the unit down and then uh Get some the torch and some flux on it and whatnot. Right, that's how it's looking. I got a bunch of flux on there to get started. And then I got a bunch of the wet rag up there for the valve. And yeah, we'll see. Let's see what happens.
Alright, I got some bird turd special going. Let me tell you. The turd. ugly but effective all right we're heading in the right direction sometimes those little buggers man they're not they're not fun to solder up like man i had got bird turd galore but it's working and that's what matters so we are coming around the mountain